Good day, and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So I thought, you know, we could, like, do a bit of arena or something. Uh, maybe, like, just talk about the game while we do some arena. Um, obviously, just trying to push through the ranks. Not really too high up. Um, maybe aiming for talent, and then we'll push on from there. It's very difficult to say, because the arena system is a little bit weird now I'll talk about that in my review video but I mean yeah there's no penalty for refreshing and you know the scaling seems very like even which is good but yeah it's how do I say it's it's interesting the arena is quite fun um, at least it's probably the most fun game mode and for people who want to play PvE and stuff like that it's probably not what they want to hear but it is probably the most fun game mode that the game has to offer just because it's the one that requires the most investment from me like it's yeah it yeah the other game modes you just kind of autoplay um this yeah this is something i want to talk about when i do um my review but this like buffing notification at the beginning of every single fight is not good. They should just run them all at once. Hearing 14,000 choo 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 isn't really that in like it's not great. It's not something I want to hear. Like it's too common the sound effect. But we'll talk about that in my review video. The PV PvP game mode's pretty fun. Um, it's probably the most fun I have. You can autoplay it, as you can autoplay anything in this game, but it's actually quite fun when you, like, well, when you A, learn what all the heroes do, and then B, know who to target with your attacks so that you can disrupt the enemies, clearly a CPU run team. Or the CPU teams will just run abilities and stuff like that. You're not actively playing against someone at the same time. So taking out the units that do specific things is essentially the best way to handle things. It's going to result in the most like, productivity in that take, like knowing which is the healer on the other team or who debuffs or who does you know, poison damage or who bleeds or things like that is going to be very important and help you in terms of just like controlling and preventing like the enemy from taking advantage of anything which is really really good so yeah there's a nice level of tactical play uh, to a certain extent in the pvp which is pretty good it's pretty interesting it makes it quite enjoyable um i think the boss fights at least from my experience so far and i will do at least one more video discussing things like the events and you know taking a look at the usj uh, challenges and that i find the boss fights to be a bit bland um usually they're just large health pools and there's no real way like obviously you can build a team that you know gets stronger as the fight goes on um but it is incredibly difficult um in a sense to like enjoy those fights because they're such huge health sinks that it just doesn't feel that appealing like yeah beating a boss but it takes you know four or five minutes because you're just repeating the same actions over and over the only things you can do is you know set up your team which is a, which is good there's a, a bit of tactical nuance there and then you know the QTE events on the skills uh, and that's pretty much it um, there's nothing else really beyond that you use school, the skills pretty much on the cooldown for the most part um, there's very rare occasions where you won't use a skill uh, just depending on synergy with your group so yeah for me mm, I don't know the boss fights we'll discuss it in more detail but yeah the arena I find more enjoyable uh, the only thing is, look, I can just update my list with no repercussions. Just continuously update until I find the weakest enemy. I can face him, uh, and then we can just win. Uh, it's really not too difficult. 
you lose when your defense team faces someone because they've done pretty much the same thing. Um, so it's pretty, like, that side of it isn't that interesting to me. Um, it is just a, a little bit disappointing, like, how threadbar the arena mode seems. Like, there's a ranking, there's promotions, but, you know, barring the secret enemy, which, you know, is always genuinely stronger, so you don't really want to do that. You just refresh. There's no limit, there's no time limit, there's no cost limit. You just update, update, update. Find the weakest guy in your current bandwidth, your current elasticity, and then bang, you face him. And that's it. So I do like the little character kind of motifs that occur beforehand, the little chats between them if you have, um, you know, characters with a bit of, with a bit of story on each side um, it is pretty nice that way it's quite enjoyable um, yeah if you take a look um, obviously here yeah, they've got uh, they've got Nejia who is the healer so ideally we'd want to focus on her uh, and then we'd be able to stop them having any heals but they've got um, yeah a tank. So we can't actually target any other enemies because he is taunting us. So that's an example of good team build, obviously. Um, unfortunately, we are just stronger, so we'll be able to beat that system. That's why I start with the two Todorakis. One gives a damage reduction barrier, and the other one applies a damage increase. So it's, yeah, pretty interesting combination. As you can see here, we can't really target other people. His tank's just not very strong, unfortunately, which is why we're able to kind of just burst through him and then we'll take out his healer now. But yeah, um, it is just, you know, it's, there is some interesting juggling, some interesting tactics there, which, which I find quite thrilling. Obviously, most tank or teams will feature a DPS, a tank, and a healer. Um, as is warrant but yeah you get some interesting people who change it up and go two healers with one tank um, it's just going to depend and i think that's where the most excitement at least for me comes in the form of you know playing the arena mode you know it's it's the different team builds it's the different functionalities it's it's all of that so yeah for me um arena mode's pretty fun but even then, is it as fun as something like Epic 7's arena mode? I don't think so. I do quite enjoy Epic 7's PvP a bit more. And there are better mobile games for PvP out there. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit, you know, Boku no Hero Academia kind of uh, flavored, then you can go for this one. I feel like it'll be okay. But yeah, it's just going to yeah depend on you, essentially and what you feel like you want in your mobile games and things like that. But yeah, it's, it is fun. Um, it's not the most fun, but it, it is definitely fun. I do enjoy the game mode. I do have a good time playing it. Uh, I just can't play it very long. A lot of the fights feel reciprocal. Um, the AI itself is not similarly intelligent in the sense of like it kind of just does its own thing. It can sometimes be really good and seem like it's targeting your units and then other times it just doesn't. So, yeah, it is it is something just to obviously be aware of, but yeah. Overall, I think it's the strongest game mode in the end game of this My Hero Ultra Impact. And yeah, um, yeah, I think genuinely, if you do enjoy My Hero games, then yeah, I think you can enjoy the PvP mode. Uh, some people be into it. I don't think it's that bad from a pay-to-win perspective. Uh, considering a lot of a character's power comes from leveling, and you can get a lot of pieces quite easily for characters, uh, gear. There's a lot of stuff that goes into the characters. So, yes, pay-to-win does help. New characters will probably be better than older characters, but that is every PvP mobile game, just how they are. There's no real control over that. And yeah, obviously you can buy stuff from the shop, but I'm just kind of saving the currency. Don't really know what for, but I'll just spend it when I spend it. 
But yeah, that's going to be it from me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it or otherwise leave a comment and I'll try and reply back on it. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.